Welcome to monthly news number 32. So this past month has been packed. There's a lot of stuff going on and we are now at an all-time high here of 50 people. And here's some new faces. Sebastian. Adrian. Yuri. Luisa. Danny. Dryden. Francois. We built a massive set to record videos. <clears throat> and action. And with the two new video makers, uh, Francois and Sebastian, we've been working day and night to make sure everything is finished in time. We have literally been working day and night, actually. <laughs> Four in the morning every week. We had our last open day before Dutch Design Week. The kitchen works super hard making all the meals. And still, there's a lot of research and development going on with the product design team. For example, Rory and Greg is working on a brick, and Rory can tell you more about that. Hey, so when we started talking about bricks, we had many, many different ideas of what it could be. And when I arrived three months ago, this was what Dave gave me. And this is a perfect classic style of brick. But actually, we needed to come up with a better solution than something like this. So what we wanted is something that was affordable, accessible, and also created a secure place. So plastic, although it's a waste, it's actually kind of expensive. And those blocks were really heavy, and they use a lot of this. The problem with that is that each kilo of those costs us one euro. And depending where you are in the world, it could cost a lot more. So because of this, we need something a little bit more hollow, like this brick. The great thing about this brick is that it is made so much faster than one of the other solid plastics, and it's a lot lighter, meaning it costs a lot less. But there's a lot more work involved in when we talk about bricks other than the shape. And what we've been really working on is trying to play with, what if your plastic's really dirty? What if it's come from the beach, maybe straight from the ocean, landfill? Maybe it's not all one type of plastic. In one of these experiments, we actually started working with polypropylene and we added sawdust to see how it would affect the bricks as if it was dirt mixed up in the plastic. And we had some really interesting effects. Adding sawdust to the plastic actually made it a little bit less flexible. Um, it made it shrink less. Um, in our case, it made it harder to get out of the mold. But then actually, if you think about that shrinkage, each one of those blocks was exactly the dimension we wanted it to be, um, opposed to later shrinking and then having a slightly smaller brick. We also broke these a few times, and they were really interesting. And actually, we broke one of our bricks, and it was a pretty crazy explosion. That was dangerous. And that slowly evolved to be what you see behind us, which has been here for a few months now. And uh, the frame's falling apart a little bit, but it's still strong brick. And then we evolved it even a little bit more because all these little gaps, not so good. So now we have ones that kind of lock together a bit better and create a really interesting brick. But the problem with this is it's not really a brick. I mean, it locks together, has some of the properties, it's cheap. But actually, we're working on something a lot more interesting and a bit more standard. Something a bit more like Lego. Thanks, Rory. We will also do an offline release of all the new machines and tools here in the workspace during Dutch Design Week. And you're more than welcome to come and visit us here in Eindhoven. But Charlotte can tell you more about that. Hey, guys. Sibi and Adri are super busy right now designing for the Dutch Design Week 2019 exhibition. Yeah. I made this plan, I made the 3D of the building. After a year of stuff, we're going to clear it all out. And we spent a couple of weeks perfecting this plan and layout. We're going to get this out. This. And this. We're going to show our newest machines. We're going to show our newest products. And this. Yeah. But then yesterday, 
We had like a two and a half hour long meeting with Dave and Mattia. And so excited. And things have changed. Epic! These are the instructions I'm following now. So I guess we will see. <laughs> Maybe join us from the 19th to the 27th of October. We'll be here in the VDMA building, having talks, doing workshops, and giving presentations. See that? It's, it's, it's red there, I don't know, is, is it rolling? Yeah, it's rolling? Okay, it is rolling? Okay, cool. Thank you, Adri and Charlotte. Last month, we gave away a uh, soap holder and bowl from uh, Selene U to one of our lucky Patreon supporters. This month, we will give away the stool from uh, Still Life. And to choose our lucky winner, we have our new extruder here to pick it. And I'm gonna press this button here right now. So, this month, lucky winner is Hugo Perard. We will contact you to give away the stool and make sure to go follow us on Instagram where we'll announce the next item for next month. And for now, over to the community news with Kat. Thank you, Philip, and welcome to the community news. So let's just jump right into it. Numero uno, the Waltig Way watch. These Argentinian guys have developed a mold for a wristwatch. Using the injection machine, they transform plastic bags into this super stylish accessory uh, to show off with. That's definitely a product we haven't seen so far and we are very excited to see more. Making baskets, lampshades and more with the extrusion machine is quite, a, quite an established and, and popular uh, technique in our community. And there are a lot of different shapes and techniques already out there, yet our friends from Plastic Factory in Belgium came up with their very individual style and uh, they have a very cool way to create these objects with quite organic structures. So yeah, super satisfying. And our Colombian friends from Plastico Infinitivo made a very nice video about their project and including explanations about plastic and the problem and showing their machines at work. So there you can also see their machine hack, which is a shredder just doubled, so you have more productivity. And it's just very beautiful shots and very well done. So check it out. Thanks as always for inspiring. And um, hey, don't forget to tag us on Instagram or use the hashtag Precious Plastic or even better put your, bazaar, your stuff on our bazaar so that it's much easier for us, but also for the rest of the world basically to find you and share your work. And by the way, we are going to order a lot of things from the bazaar to showcase here during the Dutch Design Week so we can show the people and visitors the variety of all the products from the worldwide community. So hurry up to put your stuff on the bazaar if you have something we could show showcase here. And speaking of the Dutch Design Week, uh, for anyone who wants to come and maybe even give a presentation or workshop, um, let us know so we can include that in our planning. So that's it for now. Dutch Design Week is coming soon. So see you then. That was it for this video. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to support us on Patreon. It helps a lot if you just make a small donation. Comment down below if you have any questions. And for now, see you in the next month news.